Today we are very glad to come to visit uh, the White House, the President Obama work and stay here. We are very proud to come to visit him. How do you get invited to dinner? I'll pass out. <laughs> In our country, we, we want to be peaceful, especially the monks. This guy is the biggest terrorista in the United States choice. This guy, this guy destroyed this nation. How does it feel to live in a house with other presidents? Spread loving kindness to president and to give the power to him to take care of the world, to be peace. In the book of Daniel, Daniel 2.44, Talks, it's a prophecy about the future that talks about a time when the, the, the governments of now, the kingdoms in, during the last days, would actually be done away with, and man, or God's government with Jesus as king would actually take over man's government. So there, there would be one kingdom, one government for the entire world. What, what do you think your biggest accomplishment was, the president, and then also what, what do you think your biggest challenge was? That one government would be able to bring about peace because there would be no boundaries. There would not be, I'm fighting you in Germany for land or for power, power or anything else. But, so my thing that I would continue to say would just be look, look to the Bible, realize that man's efforts are limited. If you could, if you could totally decide on how, how to allocate government money, what would you do? ¿Qué podemos hacer para que la gente sea más amable, más amorosa, más unida? Um, if you could label GMOs more, that would be awesome. And continue with cancer research. I would ask, how does it feel to be the president, and why did you decide to be the president? Because that's a lot of responsibility. Yeah, like, what was your motivation? Yeah, like, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just... You get blamed for everything. You ain't even motivated. Do who do you think your successor should be? Man cannot direct his own step. It has to be looking at the Bible and taking God's guidance. So, Mr. President, I would say look to the Bible and teach what God says we should be doing versus what how man is directing our own step. I'll say hi. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> the park in front of the White House is really, really beautiful. I think I would want to talk to him about some of the recent proposals he came up um, with for climate change stuff, some related to environmental activism. So I would want to tell him thank you for trying to do something, but also ask him to do a little bit more. Well, I think there's a hope for a future that we all can look forward to. So although right now we're in sadness, there is a happiness to come that we can all kind of look forward to despite and just move along in our life and have something happy to do and have a purpose in life. Yeah.